Welcome to Catholic Views. I'm your host, Renee Kranz. On today's show, we have a really, a really big treat to me anyway. Father Tom Hartman is coming in to tell the story of how he became a priest and his life before he was a priest. Mm -hmm. If you don't know Father mm -hmm. Hartman, and I really didn't know him very well until this interview, uh, he has a fascinating story. Um, he's really just like, he had a life like many of the rest of us before he came, became a priest. So Speak I hope for yourself, Renee. <laughs> Has your life never been full of turmoil? Uh, I know, no. <laughs> so stick around for that. It's it's a really great interview. So first we have Dr. Chris Bergwald here for Biblical Bites with Dr. B. Yes, ma'am. So, Renee, what, what Sunday is it? Well, Bill told me before we started it was the ninth Sunday, thank goodness, well, of ordinary Bill's, time. <laughs> Bill is being tricky. We, ah! Because, Renee, what season are we in? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the first Sunday of <laughs> I, you uh, jerk. Yeah. What? I, oh. <laughs> and I'm just, sorry. But you let him go with it. I totally did. I'm like, oh, Bill, <laughs> why did you do that? was a good pass. I was like, he's going to correct me, and I, I'm you not going to get away with it. You are evil today. <laughs> it was a good one. It's Lent. How <laughs> Uh, I agree. How could you do that to me? The ashes are still somewhat fresh on your forehead. No, they're not. I took a shower this morning. That's good to know. <laughs> All right, let's move along. So the first Sunday of Lent, as opposed to ordinary time, which end, when did that end, by the way? Oh, last that's right. Week. Last Tuesday. That's right. That's when the ordinary time was over. Uh, Renee, but actually, you get to choose your own adventure. Oh, I love that. Would you rather talk about the first reading or the gospel? Um, let's do just for fun, the first reading. Okay. So real quick. So I'll, I, would, I do want to say something about the gospel uh, and then we'll focus on the so first So I really reading. didn't get a choice. No, you do get a choice. <laughs> but people, the, the gospel, the first, the gospel, um, in Lent, this, the gospel in the first Sunday of Lent is always about the, uh, we're wandering the, going out in the desert, which hap what happens there? He's tested, tempted. The temptation. temptation. Okay. So that's what the gospel's about. Ha -ha. Luke's account, yeah. Bill was not ready for that. <laughs> so, good job, Renee. You saved yourself from I did. the earlier misstep. Barely. Uh, the first reading, um, the first reading throughout Lent, actually, is always from the Old Testament, uh, as is almost always the case um, at Sunday Mass. Uh, but it's telling the story of salvation. Okay. Uh, the, the Old Testament portion of it. So we read this year, um, the first Sunday of Lent, the first reading. Um, what cycle are we in? C. C, right? Because the gospel was from, what did I say again? Luke? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know why I can't good. remember that for sure, but. <laughs> so year, year C, um, first reading from Deuteronomy 26. Moses spoke to the people saying, the priest shall receive the basket. This is about it, when, uh, when Moses is giving some of the liturgical norms, how they're oh, offering okay. the sacrifices. Um, basket from you. So you're, you're making an offering to the Lord, a tithe. Uh, he'll take the basket, put it for the altar, your God, of the your Lord, your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord, your God. So you, the person offering mm -hmm. the sacrifice, you shall declare before the Lord, your God. My father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household and there lived as an alien. But there he became a nation great, strong, and numerous. And it goes on from here. And we might, if time permitting, touch on some of this. Um, but... My father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household and there lived as an alien. There's aliens in the Bible. You didn't realize that, <laughs> did you? I've seen ancient aliens on TV. I you, knew it. I right. called it. <laughs> Very good, Bill. What, so just out of here. So that, first of all, alien. What? 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 Uh, from another country. Right, right. Yeah. So alien, like we, it doesn't mean E.T. Right. This, means, that term has been used for centuries to exactly. mean someone who's not Somebody from that country. from another country. Yeah. So E.T. would be from another country, which is right. kind of why so we... <laughs> really far away country. <laughs> but, but, my father was a wandering Aramean. What if your father wasn't a wandering Aramean? I mean, he's, is he, I'm so confused by this. So, well, well uh, okay, so you, you don't have any, you have no idea. W w w what does that mean? I don't know. What's an Aramean? I don't know. So, and right, so I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> I'm good at it. <laughs> there, was a, there was a good gamble. That that was, was there was a, I took a yes. chance. Because uh, you got several in a row, right? Right. So. I got this one right, too. Um, <laughs> you did what you know. wanted. <laughs> <clears throat> this is referring to Jacob. Oh, okay. So my father, not my immediate dad. Okay. So when you're offering the sacrifice, you're speaking about my ancestor, okay. Jacob, 
who was a wandering Aramean. Well, Jacob, um, if if you recall, Jacob for a time after he deceived his dad and cheated his older twin brother out of the birthright for what? Such a good guy. A pot of porridge, wasn't it, or something? <laughs> no anyway, idea. Uh, he went off um, to where his mom was originally from, um, he, and his, his mom had been Aramean. So he beca- Jacob became, in a sense, a wandering. He, he married. He goes to his uncle's house, Laban, marries Laban's, end up two daughters. Um, so my father was a wandering Aramean. My father, my forefather Jacob, is wandering around, uh, and this was the very early stages. So I'm acknowledging that my father wandered around, but now we go into Egypt, and it goes on from there. We're getting a little piece of salvation history. All right. Well, I'm very confused still, but thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>